everyone, it's Saturday morning. I think it's about five o'clock. Just woke up. Um, the poor dogs, they come downstairs, it's usually cooler outside, but today it's still, it's currently 30 degrees at five o'clock in the morning. It's hotter outside. I just popped the aircon on back downstairs. Like it's not too bad down here. Just setting up the water for them because they don't want to drink. Yeah, what a weird night. And now upstairs the air conditioning, I think I said before, it's not working properly. Luckily, you can keep putting it on, it, it does come on. But yeah, a <laughs> strange night. I didn't sleep with anything on last night. It was so warm. And the overhead fan, I've got another little fan we had on as well. But the dogs, they're going outside, think, all excited, think, oh, it's going to cool up. Oh, I'm just putting that water down. Which needs a wash, but at least it gives them some clean water. Yeah, they've gone out think, oh, it's going to cool, but it's so humid out there. I feel sorry for people camping. Last night must have been unbearable. So we're currently at the top temperature of the day. It's supposed to cool down from now, which is crazy. How crazy is that? Because this is usually the cool time of day. He's still lying out there. Really darling, it's so hot out here. Honey, come back inside. Bay, come in here. It's cooler in here. Bailey. <laughs> I guess you'll get hot and come back in. <laughs> yeah, I feel like your water for you, Crystal. It's crazy. Crazy weather. making some french toast for us for breakfast today it's a funny old day out there christy hung her washing out there thinking it was going to rain but now it's really super sunny we'll just give it a push in the sun oh, blue sky oh it's so warm out oh i hope the sun stays out blue sky that way looks a bit cloudy that way oh there's some heat in that sun though Whew. i'm going back in the air conditioning so i did go and have a shower before my hair and I've done some washing up I haven't done much else oh I did um we've booked our next motorhome trip which is in just two weeks well a week and a half really um Australia Day falls on a Thursday this year <laughs> which means it's not a long weekend but Kevin's going to take the Friday off work and we'll make it a long weekend and that way we can go further afield so we're actually going to go up to Nelson Bay which if you've watched my channel for a while you know it's like a traditional family holiday places to go to Nelson Bay um, and we haven't been for a couple of years now well I think it's only been two years since we were there actually but yeah mum and dad I've been going since I was a little kid up to that area and we just love it up there but it's about a four-hour drive maybe more in the motorhome going a bit slower so it's too far for a weekend so we're gonna go so I'm really looking forward to it and we're gonna stay at Shell Bay if you know the area and the caravan park is right across the road from the beach it's a very like it's not well it's a beach but there's no waves <laughs> it's very very flat it's part of Port Stephens um I don't know it's too far we want to go to the surf beach but we could possibly ride our bikes because it's fairly flat there we well, don't know how we'll go um how far we'll go to ride our bikes there's a lot of bike paths so hopefully I'll have to get on the bike here and <laughs> get a bit of bike and fitness back up again <laughs> in the next week and a half so we can maybe if you want to ride some places but it's not too far to some shops and to some restaurants and cafes so we'll just have to see if we want to go further we need to take our home with us <laughs> but yeah that's really nice i'm really looking forward to it feels like we haven't had i know we've just had a holiday but motorhomes are different no because kevin's been working out there so we can think oh, i can't wait to go away in the motorhome it's you know that little a little home away from home so that'll be nice and after that we're probably going to try and go every second week through summer and autumn anyway but obviously some weekends things will come up and work well too but that's sort of our plan because obviously over the winter we don't use it and we haven't used it for two months now so yeah that'll be cool i'm gonna do my document your life for december i know people don't watch not many people watch my document your life videos but they're they're really for me as a summary of what happened in the month and i do actually look back on them i've now got two three years I think I've got three years worth now. Or have I got two? Oh, I don't know. Anyway, I've got a couple of years worth of them. And I do like looking back and I can quickly see sort of what we did that month, any highlights of the month anyway. So 
Yeah, I must have three because it's been three years and for like another week or so since I've got my fibro really kicked in to full gear. Mm, it's funny because this time three years ago I, I wasn't and I was doing lots of bead walks and I was really quite probably the fittest I'd been for a long time. And then like come home and I <laughs> can't walk down the street without getting out of breath. So yeah, it's been a kind of a long three years, but they've gone by fast as well. It's strange. Anyway, I'm gonna do this. Kevin's helping dad with his roof or something today. So not a good day for it being out in that heat, but anyway. Um, so when he comes in, we'll, I thought we'll watch some documentaries this afternoon. All right, let's do this. <laughs> Poor Kev. He's up on Pop's roof next door. I think Pop's got a leak, so Kevin's trying to help him find it. Be hot up there. And poor Kevin is still working on the roof. So I've just made a nice salad plates for us for lunch. This is quite inventive for me. <laughs> so, um, so I did some stuffed eggs. I don't know if I'm going to like them because I've gone off eggs, but I'm going to try some. Kevin's already had his other, he's already had a whole egg actually. When he was passing through, I've just got some potatoes with, um, they're just cold, <coughs> with some green onion or shallots. A little bit of mayonnaise on them, obviously beetroot, pineapple, asparagus. And then this little salad is lettuce, tomato. <coughs> Excuse me. And then there's some feta cheese in there that we bought ages ago. And a little bit of corn fillet um, with a little bit of cheese. So looks really yummy, doesn't it? I thought Kevin's not going to want a hot lunch today. He wants something nice and cold. So I'll stick his in the fridge for him to have when he's finished. Kevin says you're on the dog's dinner. We ran out of dry food. That's a lot. It's Kevin. the same stuff. It's just in a bone shape. <laughs> Is it the same stuff as the vegan hearts? Yeah. yeah, we can't get the little vegan dry food at the minute. So we'll try, the place we used to order from aren't selling online anymore. So we'll try and track it's some down. I'm sure there's not a big market for vegan dog food. Hmm. Um, and then they won't sell the rest. Yeah. Well, they sell on online places still. So anyway, so we've got a whole lot of those bones, so we've just been giving them some of the bones, but we may didn't need that many. <laughs> I've got their um, heartworm, chewies, and flea and tick you stuff to, to give them. The puppies. Oh, okay. Well, now they're drooling. You ready? You're drooling? Okay. Yes, there's drooling going. <laughs> and I've made our dinner already. We've got, what's it called? One pot taco pasta. Have they had their vaccinations? Yes. There's a new virus going around that kills dogs. It's We've all had over the Earth. It's just started the South, the South Coast. And let's cook some plain pasta for Christy. So we'll have that. Just finished doing the December document your life that took forever. And it's actually really long. But anyway, that's it. That's a record for me of the month. Obviously, being in America for most of it, there was lots of things to, I wanted to remember. Lots of highlights. So it's nearly 10 minutes. So I've still got to put music to it and check it all and stuff, but I'll do that tomorrow. Yes, I did all afternoon, I think. Pretty much. Um, there was something else I was going to say, but I've forgotten now. So, yeah, I think you and I are going to finish watching. We're going to finish watching the documentary. Oh, we started watching, well, we started actually ages ago. A week ago, I was saying, watching the Food Choices documentary. So, we're finishing watching that. We still haven't quite finished yet. So, we're finishing, finish watching that. Oh, I was going to say, we had been going to go for a swim. But uh, Athena's got a friend over for dinner now, so we'll just watch telly and have dinner and maybe go for a night swim later on because it is still stinking hot out there. <laughs> Hasn't cooled down at all today, so hopefully tomorrow I'll cool down and we'll take the doggies to the beach. Which is what we're going to do today, but there was no cool time of day today. Still warm? Yeah, it's crazy. So we didn't want to be out the, the pool, like the sun is so strong, so waiting for it to down which now well the sun won't be as strong now but we might have to wait for after dinner for our swim and like Kevin and I just having spaghetti on toast for breakfast say hello yeah. <laughs> and as you can see it's pouring rain down there we had been wanting to take the dogs to the beach but uh not at the moment <laughs> that's for sure it's so heavy I don't think I've seen rain like that for a long time nice after the really hot days we've had though been a very lazy Sunday morning. I've just been editing videos on YouTube for YouTube and watching some YouTube. I guess what Kevin's up to now. I know he's at the motorhome doing stuff. 
And then I think we're gonna go down to Aldi. I need a few things at Aldi. And I think we might get fish and chips for lunch today. Well, not that I eat the fish, but chips and potato scones maybe. Naughty, but kind of feel like that. I'm just not sure if the local sort of fish and chip shops open there were closed for a while over Christmas, but we'll see. I come out, baby, we'll go for explore, we'll go find daddy. So excited to go out in the road home again. Just a week and a half. If he gets the bathroom, it's fixed, of course. You in here, Kev? Yes. What are you filming? <laughs> you. <laughs> Turn your robe, you're not even dressed. How you going? Making a big mess of my motorhome. Yes. Our motorhome. <laughs> well, it'd be nice to have a toilet that doesn't leak. Yes. So, water a plate because you broke it didn't you when you're fixing it you broke the old one of these i broke the um yeah this leaked then i got yeah. a new one because i broke the bowl but doesn't but refit in the new one doesn't <laughs> fit it changed the design typical <laughs> chrissy just donated smurfit to rosie but she's rosie's really not too sure she's uh, not sure oh gosh she thinks she's in naughty it's a good girl Squitting her eyes. Yeah, yeah. Christy gave it to you. Because you need new dog toys, don't you? No. There you go. No, so don't like that one. Christy's just really not sure about toy. it. She knows it's not really a dog toy. Toy, there you go. Good girl, Rosie. Oh, well, we now have a nice new sink. Now everything also just looks dirty. <laughs> That's supposed but to be anyway, white originally. Probably was. And our tap now looks really dirty, but anyway. <laughs> At least we have a sink again and it doesn't leak. Which is probably a bad idea with this one because it keeps seeing everything and wanting everything. <laughs> I'm not naughty. You are naughty. Kevin was saying to me, what was you drinking? Kevin was saying to me today I need to try and do better. Um, transitioning from different scenes or vlog scenes i said it's just hard because you forget you get sidetracked like i meant to show you dinner and i totally forgot to show you dinner we had um a ricotta and i don't know the ricotta and spinach or something cannelloni that i bought at aldi and some garlic bread and some corn and potatoes but i totally forgot to share it so there you go i'm just kevin's out here i'm just saying i left my slippers in the did you so hot again Oh, I'm gonna love hot flushes. Anyway, um, we're gonna go and watch some more of The Crown. I'm watching. I remember to say goodnight for a change. I've been really bad at signing off even the holiday vlogs. I tend to forget most nights. I'm out of the habit, but I remember tonight. So, I hope you've enjoyed the weekend. Didn't really do very much. We didn't get to the beach, but the weather didn't cooperate today. It's been a really nice weekend. Plenty of Relaxing. <laughs> that is soaring. Kevin, go away. I'm watching you. Why? Oh, you're a creep. I'm old. <laughs> anyway, um, I'll probably vlog sometime. I can't, I can't do it while he's <laughs> <laughs> looking at me. Um, yeah, so I'll probably vlog sometime during the week and then next Sunday because we're going. To the Hunger Games exhibition in Sydney on Sunday, so that'll be that should be good. Although sometimes you can't take much video and photos of both things, so I don't know. I have to really watch the Hunger Games this week before we go. Anyway, I will film what I can and we'll still have lunch out and things anyway. Hopefully, it'll be a good day for me, and hopefully, Athena might feel better a little better. Still not doing too great, but um, she's had some days where she has improved a little bit, and the next day she's back to normal anyway. I will um, see you guys sometime during the week.